now everybody it's Vernon from Atelier Exotica and we're super excited today Ali and I because we just got our shipment of isopods from captiveisopodia.com I believe the company was so why don't you come with us and we're gonna go in here and open this package and see what we got so Yokai and I Yokai he looks very impressed and Allison and myself are getting ready to open our shipment and kept it by Sapatia. Just in case anybody doesn't know, uh, isopods are an order of crustaceans. I'm not sure, actually, arthropods. Uh, they include things like wood lice, you know, people call them roly polies, things like that. The two species that I have coming today are a little bit more exotic than your run of the mill. Roly poly that you would find in the backyard. We've got some Armadillium maculatum here. Very cool looking. Looks like they're alive and well in their little cup. Really? They fell out? Oh, okay. Looking good, looking good. We got probably about a dozen or so in there. Cut them up in a little bit. Oh, they're so cool. They look pretty. Oh, God. So, we're going to put this lid back on and set these guys aside for now. And then, in a few minutes, we're going to put them into their new little Vivarium uh, home enclosures that Allie and I made yesterday. Here are the ones I'm really excited about some Porcilio Hoffman Zegai. These guys are really big. Uh, they can be some of the largest terrestrial isopods that are known of in the hobby here. They're supposedly very robust and prolific. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Super cool. Just in relation to my fingertip, you can see that they're pretty good size. Oh my, they're huge! And these guys aren't even fully grown yet. These are basically... Not compared, they're not that big compared to the ones that we had earlier. Nice. We can barely, we got a whole bunch here on the underside. Mm -hmm. Boop, 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 boop. Well, we'll, we'll we're going to get the vivarium ready so we can pop these guys right into it. We need a nice little vivarium for them. Hey guy, we made one, and for the Armadillium maculatum, we made another. So this one has got uh, some leaf litter, some of the terraflora, some of the terraflora substrate from the Biodude, which uh, we're big fans of his stuff here. Uh, Reptilia Exotica makes and distributes great products. Are they in all the enclosures? Just about, except for the very last one. So we use all the BioDudes products in most of our enclosures, except for the very last one because it's huge. I uh, haven't done a video on it yet, but it's uh, two feet by five feet by two feet. So that would have been a lot of substrate to come up with because we went about six inches deep with it. But at any rate, we are going to get these guys into their new home. We've got some cuddle bone in here. We've got a nice wet corner for them to retire to if they feel like they need some moisture. It's almost bone dry over here on this side. We've got lots of good ventilation here, holes all over. I'm just gonna make sure that this one corner stays really moist for them if they want to. A piece of cork bark. Uh, I'm not really sure how much they're gonna use it, but some cork bark nonetheless. And we're gonna, Ellie, why don't you cut me up some zucchini. We'll just pop a little, just a tiny, tiny little piece of zucchini in there for Count them out. Okay, so we're mostly on here. We got Uh, 
actually lighter in real life. It looks a lot darker on the thing. There's a little skirt piece of it. Really, really light I was gonna grab some. Just kind of usually put it between the most of the guys' eyes. Yeah, one more thing. 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 Oh, this is a great culture, I will say. These are all really, really healthy looking adults. I think they're definitely not even They're definitely not babies. Bumper crop of zucchini here this year. Not so many tomatoes. I think tomatoes would still be good, but I think they may be a little bit too acidic. I'm not sure. I have we haven't experimented with it. Okay, so both sides. The paper towel. They seemed to like it in there. Let's double check. Oh, we got one more. No, oh, two. two more little buggers left in there. Yep. I think it's good. We're just going to kind of put up all of it in there together just so they feel at home. I like the other one. Just, just kind of pile that right in there with the rest of it. Let's get a piece of, uh, a piece of spag moss on his back. Super cool. Very stoked. Very stoked to have these guys here. Again, these are Priscilio Hoffman Zagai. They like it a little, from what I'm told, they like it a little on the drier side with lots of ventilation, so that's what we're going to provide. We've offered some. Zucchini, some fresh zucchini, some cuddle bone. There's a little bit of palm, uh, palm frond leaves in there. Some cork bark, biodude terra flora substrate. And charcoal. Uh, some leaf litter, some charcoal. And corn. I mean, <laughs> some little bitty baby alder cones. I don't know. I got these and I wasn't sure. Uh, maybe these are good. Maybe they're not. But hopefully they'll, they'll you know, get some a little bit of enrichment for them. They're super tiny. Okay. They're for actually for brine shrimp, I believe. So we'll see. But I want to go ahead and let these guys settle in. We're What's gonna move on shrimp? to the Armadillium maculatum. Get them in their new enclosure. So I believe these guys like it slightly moister than the Hoffman Zay guy. But we've done the same thing. We've kind of created a gradient Whoa. here where we've got lots of places for them to hide. Some lots of little stimulating little things in here. Some all, some little alder, uh, pine this cones, one, some pine, or, excuse me, some palm. This one has a pretty well, this, I think they are going to appreciate just a little bit more moisture than the Hoffman's Egg. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I'm still I'm providing them a gradient. So it's really moist here. It's kind of moist there, and it's pretty dry down here. So uh, we're just going to keep the one area nice and moist, which actually I'm going to give this a little spray because it's looking a little dry down there. Just like that. And I'm going to try to count out these Armadillium maculatum if I can, without being too long under here. I want to make sure we know how many we've got so we can keep track of our population. So we've got... Let's get 
Ten. Oh, yeah, okay. Twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You're right. Oh, I think there's sixteen actually. Two. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah. Uh, we'll we'll do a double check. I'm I counted seventeen. Ellie counted sixteen. So we'll see. Either way, that's a really great starter culture. Look at um, that one. Everybody alive arrived, happy, healthy, and in one piece. So thank you again to Captain Vicepadia. Uh, can't thank these guys enough. Uh, they got that order out as soon as I. Uh, it's basically it seemed like as soon as I placed it, they they pretty much had it shipped and on its way. So let's see. Let's get a close up on it. Get a little bit of focus. Oh, they're so cool. This one is the little distinct. zebra stripes. Yeah, like this one is actually black. Some of them are actually like really dark brown. Going back to home. So we set them up similarly to the Hoffman's egg guy, except. Uh, they have a little bit larger of a moist area, uh, so I, I, I think that they're going to do really well in here. Oh yeah, yeah, get with them some zucchinis. Some zucchinis. I'm probably going to put a little bit of bug burger in there for them later. Oh yeah, it's good there. So this should be good. These guys, I'm not guessing they're going to decimate this zucchini super quick. So we'll give them some zucchini today and check on them in a couple of days and see how they've done with that. And maybe some rapashi bug burger. Uh, some fish flakes, something like that. They've got all kinds of stuff to munch on in the time being, or in the meantime. So, thanks again for watching. This has been Vernon and Allie from Reptilia Exotica. Yeah. Also, Yokai over there, who's the foreman and he's supervising. Yeah. Even though he looks like he just wants to be left alone, he loves it. So, Baba Booey to y'all and peace. Somebody drop down some. Me? Oh my.